Okay guys, today I have a declutter. So I have, um, not by choice, I just feel like this drawer is getting a little stuffed. Um, I don't know if I'll get rid of a lot, but basically I have five of these, I have four of these, and I have one long one full of blush. And so I feel like I need to go through this and really only keep what I need. Um, like, I, I don't even remember how I got, like, all these. Um, and, like, these blushes don't even fit, like, in these little things. I have them floating in the drawer. So, I'm going to show you guys. Essentially, it's going to be, like, a blush collection slash um, declutter video. So, I'll, I'll guess I'll start with these loose ones first. So, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these. These are the Patrick ta duo blushes um these are relatively new i bought them in the november sale um i have the color do we know her this is the color she's so la and then this is the she's adorable um shade oh my gosh so i'm not gonna get rid of any of these they're new this, I also purchased it recently, if you saw it in one of my hauls. I haven't used it yet, um, so I need to keep that. This also I showed in one of my, my most recent Ulta haul. I have not used that either. Um, this little Tarte blush is part of the holiday kit they did. This is in the color Delight. Also going to keep that. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm probably not going to get rid of a lot, to be honest. Blushes are like my like uh, guilty pleasure. Like, I love buying blushes. Um, I haven't used this one. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. It doesn't have the color on it, so I couldn't tell you um, what it's called. I did use the Putty Bronzer, and I thought it was pretty nice, considering how cheap it is. And then this one, I believe, is the... Desert Orchid. Let me see. Yes. So this one, um, I love it. I feel like sometimes I have to have um, a really light hand because it can look very um, dark on my skin tone. Okay, now let's start with this little, um, this little, what's it called? Little square. I don't even know. I, I can't even think right now. So we have this Dior blush in the shade, um, it just says new tan tie dye edition, so I'm not really sure um, what it is. I honestly have not used it more than once, um, and it doesn't really even show up. Like, can you guys see that? Hmm. I think this is a maybe like I just want to keep this because it's Dior but like that's stupid so this is like a possible declutter the next one I have is the pillow talk intense so I think this is too dark for my skin tone I know I got this in I think it was a gift with purchase um, or something like that so I think I'm gonna let me see I think I'm gonna pass I think I'm gonna have to find someone to give this to because this is too dark for my skin tone. I think um, one of my cousins would really like that. Um, the next thing I have is the pillow top color, the regular one. This I love, um, which is, let me compare it. So this one's quite a bit darker and it's not as luminous. So yeah, I'll probably give the darker one away and I'll keep the regular one. The next one we have is Love is the Drug. This is the first one I ever purchased. Um, and it's like, just like a basic pink. Keeping that. The next one, this, I love blushes like this. This like nude color. Um, definitely keeping that. It's like my favorite. And... This one, this one's really pretty too. It's called Ecstasy. I got this in, I think, like a mystery box she did. I would always buy those because they're just such a good bang for your buck. And then this is Walk of No Shame, which honestly looks 
very similar to I have to try these on see how they look on my on my cheek these are almost identical I feel like literally so I think I'm gonna pass that one too oh my gosh I'm actually getting rid of stuff is this angle okay let me see okay I can see a little bit better I feel like the other angle was a little I couldn't see okay sorry if I'm breathing heavy as I've said in like literally all the videos I've been having like really bad allergy problems so I essentially like can't even breathe through my nose it's like completely shut but anyway this is the color um 01 Alba you can see me hello um this I'm gonna keep this is a really pretty color so I'll put that there. Then I have a ton of these hourglass blushes. This is the incandescent Electra. Probably gonna keep all these to be honest. I need to stop saying all the names. Hmm. Let's see. What do we think? These are very similar. This is essentially the same except this is pink and this is like a peach. I think I'm gonna keep them both. I just love Hourglass products. This is beautiful, I'm gonna keep. Meh, I'll keep. And then this pink one, I'll keep. And I know I have another one. Um, I have it in my everyday drawer. This is in Dim Infusion, which I'm also gonna keep. So I'm actually gonna keep all of those. And then so far I have, um, I got rid of two Charlotte Silvery and one Dior. So that actually made a good chunk. What a weird little noise I made. Okay. So the first one I have is this Tarte um, cream product. I'm going to be able to open it. So I haven't used it. I did it in a haul. Um, it has cream bronzer and two blushes. I'm going to keep that since I just bought it. Um, this Rocca Tour Benefit Blush I love, um, and it has a pretty sizable dent in it. It used to have the, the letters embossed, so that's completely gone. This is a really nice blush for my skin tone. This I know I'm going to get rid of. I don't know why I bought this, like, I don't know. So I'm getting rid of that. And then these are so old. Does anyone know why these, why NARS packaging or like packaging that comes like this always gets sticky after a while? I hate it. This is in the color Matahari. Um, to be honest, I don't really like it. It's too purple for my skin tone. I'm gonna get rid of that. I actually didn't think I was gonna get rid of anything, so. This is the color Gina I love, and my cousin gave it to me. This is like a peach color. I like the nails. And these are Chanel. Um, I'm not gonna say the names, but I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. This one I haven't even used, this like tweed one. I need to use it. This is like a really pretty nude, which I also need to use. I'm moving my light a little bit closer. Okay. Mm. All right, it's all right. This is really old. Do you guys remember these? But I'm gonna keep it. And then Dallas, this is like the OG color. I feel like the lighting kind of sucks here. Give me one second. That I'm gonna keep. I think the lighting's a little bit better, but honestly, I'm struggling in the lighting game right now. Um, this is a glowish bronzer by Huda Beauty. I'm gonna keep that. This is like in the peach color. And then I have all these Clinique blushes. This is my favorite blush of all time. This is the Nude Pop Clinique blush. Um, this one's melon, that one's cute. This one is ginger. 
And this is peach pop. I'm gonna keep these. I used to have like all of them and I've gotten rid of them. Declutters. And then I have this Dior blush, which I'm gonna keep. It's like in a pretty peach color. So I'm gonna keep all these pretty much. And I got rid of that, I got rid of those two NARS ones. So I'm gonna go put this to the side or put it back. And then I have this little skinny one. I have NARS Orgasm, which I'm not gonna get rid of, like a staple. And then I have three of the Cover FX blushes. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of anyone, any of them even though I haven't used them. This one, I'll ha I'm gonna have to try it because it looks a little, it looks a little dark for my skin tone. And then Soft Peach. Super cute. Okay. And then I have this Sephora blush. Um, I don't know if I like this. I, don't, I can't remember. These two, or these three tart ones are the ones that I mentioned I got in the sale, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. And then this is, do you guys remember this matte collection? This is a really pretty blush. If I can open it to show you guys. Oh, I think you have to press, yeah. Look how pretty that is. So I'm get, not getting rid of that. And I have a melt blush, super cute. I have the OG Dior Rosy Glow, super old. I'm gonna keep that. And then I have, man, my arms hurt. My arms hurt, I have so much blush. And why do I wanna buy more, guys? I have this Dose of Colors one. This is like the mint collection they did. I'm gonna keep that. I have this Burberry blush, really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. And then I have this, oh no, I already showed this, so I'm gonna keep. And then I have this Elf blush, which I'm also gonna keep. So this one was pretty much all keeps. And then we still got two more little bins, but they're not as full. And I'm honestly glad I got rid of some blushes because this thing is like nasty full. This drawer, like who needs that many blushes? And here I have this NARS one, which again, like I hate how gross the compacts get um the sweat and wild in apricot and middle i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep this simpson one not because i like it or use it but just because it's like a collector's piece like i would always collect the mac ones and i really like it and then i have this Marc jacobs blush and shameless um it's really pretty and then this in this color the only reason i keep it is i don't have a, a blush like this it's like a purple and then I have another Burberry one um, in like this nude color that I'm gonna keep. So those I'm keeping. And then this is the last of it, okay? And this is, yeah, this is the last of it. So I have these Becca blushes. I had all of them and I recently got rid of some. Um, these are like the OGs. I don't think I'm gonna use these because they're so old, but it's just for like memory sake. This is Damselfly, Flower Child, and Wild Honey. But look again, like all that packaging always gets, it's like the coating disintegrates and then you're stuck with like a sticky little nasty compact. I have this Essence Satin Blush, which I'm gonna keep. And then I have all my MAC blushes that I'm gonna keep. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. Let's see what I have here. Laura Geller, I also had all her blushes, but I got rid of, um, or I think I had like three or four. So I just kept that one. And this is, um, I have other blushes, but my cream collection, which I'm not getting rid of any of those. Um, so I have like a whole other, like little caddy with my, um, my blushes that are cream, but those I'm keeping. I have these Burt's Bees blushes, which I bought because Kathleen White said they were amazing. And I think I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of this one in the color Toasted Cinnamon. I feel like it's kind of dark. 
I'm gonna keep these two. So all in all, it didn't do that great. But to be honest, I thought I was gonna get rid of like one. So all in all, oh, I and this one I'm not getting rid of. This is, I just hate these, um, this is Peach Beach. I hate how they come, like, I hate this packaging, it's so bulky. So all in all, I got rid of this Spritz Beads, NARS, Matahari. I got rid of this hot mess, like, I don't even know how to use that. I got rid of these two, Charlotte Tilbury, The Walk of No Shame, and, um, Pillow Talk Intense, and this Dior one because I haven't used it and it looks kind of funky, don't you think? I don't really like it. So anyway, so I got rid of three, I got rid of six, not bad, not the best. I obviously don't need to be buying any blushes anytime soon. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next one.